So this is a, a Superbike World Championship SBK. Um, it was, uh, the title was released in Europe uh, late last year and uh, we're bringing it to the North American market uh, in the next couple of months. The, the game is based around the, the SBK series of, uh, of race events that take place around the world. Um, you have a uh, full single player mode with uh, season mode, weekend races and whatnot. You have Xbox Live support with up to eight player uh, online races. So all the teams from SBK are represented. Um, there are 17 teams um, with each, each bike authentically recreated. Um, if a team has more than one rider, that rider is also being recreated for the game. Um, each, each bike is completely decked out in its official logos and liveries. Um, so let's go with... Uh, And then I can choose the riders. So, yeah, from last year, uh, Ben Spees and Tom Sykes both rode for Yamaha. Yamaha ended up winning it last year, and Ben was the winning rider. So before you before you race, there's a there's a bunch of different things you can do to the bike, as you would expect. You've got uh, really detailed bike settings. Um, you can go in and tweak, you know, a variety of settings of the suspension. Um, more more things than I would ever care to do, but. You know, there's, there's people out there that love this kind of stuff. Um, obviously, you can set all your different gear ratios as you'd expect. You can even tweak the gear, the uh, the chain length and chain tension, um, which will uh, you know change the performance on your bike. One of the other nice things about it is if you're if you're not sure about why why would I need to change the brake balance, there's a, a little bit of a tips thing that, that will at least give you a little bit of an insight as to why you would do these things. So for somebody that's not a hardcore biker, they can, they can learn a little bit about it and, and kind of understand what's going on. You also have an engineer on your team that can provide you with uh, advice on the upcoming track. Once you've run a few times, you can go back and review your telemetry and point out you know, kind of some of the mistakes you're making and maybe you're braking too soon for some corners or you're accelerating, you know, you're not accelerating quick enough. So this is uh, this just starts off in a, in a practice mode. I'll, I'll drop out of this in a second, go to quick race so we can see more uh, more bikes. So it's just you know your normal. It's a it's a bike racing game. We think graphically it looks really cool. Um, they've they've got a lot of detail on the bike, a lot of nice kind of bloom and glow features. You've got your um, a variety of uh, cameras, including you know your uh, your, your cockpit cam. The nice thing is each bike has its own set of gauges and dials that are that are custom for that bike, so they're authentically modeled. They all operate. So if you've got analog, you know, needles and so on, you'll see them. You'll see them uh, move as you race around the, on the track. So one of the other things that, that the game allows for is a variety of realism settings. So so right now it's it's set to fairly to kind of a simple gameplay mode. Um, so. You've got full traction control, inertia is turned off. Um, you can, you know, brake really heavily while you're on grass while turning, and you'll not slide up. Just to make the game a little bit more accessible and easier to people who maybe aren't hardcore bike gamers that just want to be able to race around a, a track. You can go in and start turning these things back on either individually or you've got a couple of different settings that you can choose. You know, from arcade advanced to simulation to extreme where everything's turned on and turned up. Um, in this mode you're getting much closer to the, the, the feeling of riding a real, a real bike in a real situation and it, 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 it feels different. So there's uh, 24, 27 other riders on the, on the track with you and they're, they're all here. So you really get the sense of really riding in a, a pack of bikes. And then, as you would expect, I'm, I've got three laps here to do, but I'll, um, there's a full replay mode. You can um, you can watch the replays from different angles. You can watch different bikes 
Um, you can bring up race telemetry um, so you can kind of see what's been going on and, and the best way to take corners and so on. There's also a guide that I could have turned on to show me the racing line. Um, there's a little icon above me which is telling me that I've got a hairpin coming up and if I'm going too fast or too slow for it. So there's a little bit of a you know, kind of a hint to give the so the player knows that he has to brake and accelerate and whatnot. The game's called Superbike World Championship SPK. It's coming out for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. It should be available by the end of May 2010.